call the September 19th meeting of the Kingston Spring City Commission to order. Could everyone please rise and face the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brian John, could you call the roll? Josh Ederman? Here. Tony Gross? Here. Mike Hargis? Here. Jeff Lorenz? Here. Glenn Ring? Here. All right. We have a quorum. Uh, do we have a motion to approve the August 15th uh, City Commission meetings? Me minute meetings. Minute meeting minutes. There we go. So. I'll make a motion that we approve. Second? Second. All in favor? No. Aye. 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 So we have a motion to approve the August 15th, 2019 public hearing meeting minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. uh, passes. All right, do we have a motion to approve the September 19th, 2019 City Commission agenda? Motion. Motion. Second. second. <laughs> motion to approve. Motion, second. second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. I have announcements from Commissioner. Josh, do you have anything? I do not. Mike? No, sir. Jeff? Glenn? Uh, uh, I want to thank Brandy and, and John and uh, all the Farmers Market Board for what an amazing uh, event that was in downtown Kingston Springs. It was magnificent. Also, the uh, Farmers Market is coming to an end this month, and I want to thank John for just going out there and every every day. I mean, it's, it blows me away how you, you've been so uh, strong in uh, supporting the Farmers Market. And we very greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Labor love. Yeah. Their main was, was fantastic this year. Did we raise enough money? Yes. I think we did We did better than ever. Mm -hmm. No final numbers yet. But. All right. Uh, so I'm, uh, community input and concerns. If you'd like to address the commission, just step up to the podium there, state your name and address, and you're free to uh, say, say what you'd like to the committee. Commission. No? All right. Uh, Department reports. Everyone's had a chance to read through the department reports. Are there any additions, John, that you'd like to? I do have, up? yes, sir, thank you. I do have two. One is the lease with the county for the library is up at the end of this, actually, the end of this year. So um, right now, the lease is structured every five years with uh, automatic renewal for an additional five years under the same terms if nobody has any complaints on either side. <coughs> the lease agreement is for ten dollars for that for that five year period. I thought it was no okay. Yeah. So that was a dollar a year, so it's two dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what we're we're looking for is um, whether the board would like to continue this current lease agreement as it is or perhaps um, approve an updated lease with uh, the county for five years with an automatic renewal every five years uh, rather than going through the signature process every five years of this lease where we just automatically for a period of time. Yeah, I mean, are, is there no reason, that, what's the reason for specifically having a five-year lease versus say a 10-year lease or a there isn't one. I mean, okay. there could be a lease that's in years or four years or eight years, however, whatever the board chooses. So we could just extend that lease. Yeah. You, you could extend it, um, like he said, either to automatically renew over five years. You could make the term longer to begin with. Um, <coughs> you know, that you lease it to them for 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. You know, we could get a look at it that way, too. Um, I did go ahead and draft a new lease, which I, I guess we'll be in your packets next time. Mm -hmm. um, just updating some of the language on the old one from 2010. I didn't have, for example, that they can provide us with a copy of general liability policy, things like that, that I'm sure have already been taken care of. We're just going to get more um, But yeah, if y'all wanted to just do a longer term. Has so. it always been five years since the beginning? Yeah. Um, and it's perfectly fine to keep it that way. I just don't yeah. know that that's, I mean, that's yeah, I, just, I mean, I don't, you know, we could do the automatic renewal or we could just bump it up. I, I, I don't, unless anybody sees a major objection to doing that, I don't see why we couldn't just make it a longer police term. 
But luckily, we did have a five-year break, doing a five-year term, and she's able to adjust some legal. That's legal that's true. That's, that's, that's true. Um, so that was. But we had automatic renewal. I mean, I guess we'd still go through an attorney review every five years, but surely no, because no, it automatically it just automatically renew, renew, so it wouldn't really necessarily yeah. change anything in there either. Yeah, but we can still discuss. It would still come I mean, as long as Martha Brook thinks this new lease is airtight, though. Right? Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, I guess it's for next next. Uh, next meeting, but I'd, I'd be open to automatic renewal or a longer term for it. I, you know, I, I, obviously, I don't Do you think. have to tweak it before? Because it's got to go back to the county oh, yeah. commission. Mm -hmm. So oh. do you need it they to say what room. they want? And then send it to the county commission, so it'll be back. It, it probably would be a good idea, yeah, for you okay. guys to get their way in as well. Um, the, um, if, if I'm the, the lease actually what it, it ends at the end of December, correct? So, yeah, yeah. so this new first. one would become would go into effect as of January. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that leaves us with the October and November meetings. Would there to be a first and second reading, right? So, um, no, this one wouldn't have to because no. it's not about ordinance. So we still have two months basically to deal with this, right? Okay. Um, Which is something to throw out. Yeah, so so maybe it'll be an agenda item then next month. Okay. We yes, could, we could we'll set. We could while everybody ruminates on it a bit, we can we can come back to that and maybe think about one of those options. Do we, need, do we need to give somebody in the county commission involved? Um, so well, sign off on anyone ask the their opinion we, if they before we talk about it. We've got a couple of great county commissioners here down in the sixth district, so we could speak oh, yeah. to both of them and, and uh, let them know. Yeah. I don't know yeah, which committee. Yeah. Which committee is that good? Yeah. I would probably start by sending it to the mayor's office, and then okay. he can follow it through. And, and, and Carrie is very uh, hands-on with the library board, because I'm on the library board, and he's at every meeting, and he's pretty aware of the situation. So I don't think we can have too much of a difficulty with it. So. We'll reach out to Mayor McCarthy. Right. Okay. If we're going to, we're going to vote on the next meeting, we're going to attend on it. would be helpful to know where these they Where they stand, yeah. Right. And being on the library information in the, in the pattern. Being on the library board is <laughs> Perhaps I don't know. <laughs> so so for, for just, just for clarification, so y'all want to send it as it currently is with a five-year term with automatic five-year renewal, and then in ten years we'll revisit the language. I just want to leave that part as is. Is what's going to go to the county commission, correct? So, okay. Yeah. Why change all to all of that? Just yeah, want all automatic that. renewal it doesn't make any difference. It's going to be a couple. Once we get our money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or candidates or books. Yeah. 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 So, okay, because it's currently set up with one automatic renewal term. So, force it back for everybody 10 years from now. And I have one other thing, uh, Mr. Mayor. We had uh, uh, advertised for two public safety officers um, and have some very good candidates in mind and interviewed at least one. Uh, and Chief Ivy would like to explain. Yes, I would like to tell you that during the conversation that we had when we were talking about the county starting pay and we up the starting pay for our officers, I wrote down 37.9. Debbie had written down 37.5. So we advertised it, and it's my fault I didn't check with Debbie. I had Jeremy run the ad, and we advertised it at 37.9. So it's $400 a year more. But the money's there because we budgeted to start two officers from July 1st, and they've not been hired yet. So there's no problem, won't have to be any budget amendments. I just need permission from y'all to make that adjustment from 37.5 to 37.9. Okay. Do we have a motion to allow Chief Ivy to uh, adjust the new public safety officer's uh, starting salary from 37? Thousand five hundred to thirty-seven thousand nine hundred. Motion to. Do what I said. Yes. <laughs> Motion to raise. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. All right. Thank Thank you. Let the, I'll check with Debbie from now on. <laughs> yes. Let the raise the library. Didn't say you could come out of her salary. Didn't have to. Keep your eye on the Yes.
All right, legal updates. Is anything you'd like to have? No for? legal updates. I will uh, like to say Jennifer and I both attended the Dinner on Main event, and it was out of this world. I didn't see you there. I was somewhere in all that. She was in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 so I uh, during throughout the evening, I was texting each on each plate as it came out, along with the uh, menu, and sending it to various friends with lots of who's and us coming <laughs> back. So it's phenomenal. So kudos yeah, they won't do that for smoked pork again. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was actually the first year. My dad was like, "Well, that pork chop was all right." <laughs> 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 All right, unfinished business. We have second reading of ordinance 19-005, amending Title I, Chapter 3, to authorize the city manager to execute certain contracts on behalf of the town of Kingston Springs. Right. Do we have a motion to approve second reading of ordinance 19-005? I move that we approve the second reading of ordinance 19-005. Second? Second. John, can you call a roll? Josh Evelyn? Yes. Mike Hargis? Yes. Tony Gross? Yes. Glenn Remick? Yes. Jeff Lorenz? Yes. All right. Item B is second reading of ordinance 19 6, amending article 8, section 8.020 of Kingston Springs Zoning Ordinance to clarify responsibilities of the building inspector and town planner for administration of the zoning ordinance and all applications for building permits. A motion to approve ordinance 19 006. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Call the roll, John. Josh Evans? Yes. Mike Hargis? Yes. Tony Gross? Yes. Glenn Reddick? Yes. Jeff Lorenz? Yes. yes. All right. Motion passes. New business is first reading of ordinance 19 007, amending ordinance 19 002 2019 2020 budget. because of the property tax rate um, and the property tax rate affects the sewer and lure tax so that had to be changed um, you all also had voted to do the Tennessee plan um, insurance so that had to be adjusted and put in there and then um, the lagoon project was anticipated being finished in last year's budget it did not get it so we're having to move money from there into the current budget to pay those bills. So that's why your current budget's being amended. All right, do we have a motion to approve ordinance 19-007 on first reading? Does this do all, for all of those, David, this, this ordinance? Or is it three separate ordinances for each change? No, that ordinance covers all those changes. <coughs> motion to approve ordinance 19-007. Second. Any discussion? Can you call a roll, John? Josh Edley? Yes. Mike Hargis? Yes. Tony Gross? Yes. Ben Rimmer? Yes. Jeff Lorenz? Yes. All right. Motion passes. Uh, item B is first reading of Ordinance 19-008, amending Ordinance 18-002, the 2018-19 budget. I assume this is the other side of that. This is your year in, yeah. and this, you know, you all did the chamber membership. Um, there was money transferred to do a drug vehicle. There was money that came in, $100,000 for the county for the fire engine. Um, bought the bucket truck, bought a park truck, um, bought a farmer's market trailer, police vehicle, and equipped it. Um, the police software, um, and um, a new sewer truck, and change orders to the lagoon project so those were amendments that you all made throughout the 18-19 budget year that all had to be taken so just to be clear to understand because these are things we've already done but we're just now amending yes. the budget so yeah we, we just do them josh once okay. instead so of, because not. otherwise every time you you do that amendment, okay. we bring them to you all so they get in the minutes and we know that you all have approved, approved the expenditure but otherwise if, if we do them you were going to be doing an amendment 
two weedings every, every time, time we change yeah. something. So we just do it all at year end. Do we have a motion to approve uh, first reading of ordinance 19 008? Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? Uh, John Calderon. Josh Edler? Yes. Mike Hargis? Yes. Tony Gross? Yes. Glenn Reddick? Yes. Jeff Lorenz? Yes. And Tony Buzzard is require a setting of a public hearing for next week. So next, next uh, month we'll have a public hearing. Yes, we'll advertise next week. So All right, I don't see just, is just a question. I'm just curious. So what happens if that doesn't get uh, approved and we've already spent the money? How does that work? Well, in essence, you really have approved it because you right. did it through the minutes. I, that's okay. why I was just curious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you all made a motion to approve okay. everything that's come for you. This is just the final. This is the clue. Yeah. Yeah. What Josh saying is like, yeah. say, like, say, yeah. like, just we decided tonight to all vote against that. Yeah, or during the public <laughs> hearing or at some point. <laughs> yeah. It just seemed come forward and correct. Try to I'm just other trying to figure out it's at no, some point. Get a ding on the audit. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're just risking that. Yeah, well you're not spending okay. money that hadn't been appropriated or moved. Which is why we always agree and have it in the minute. So everything I've just said to you, if you go back and look in the minutes, you all have made a motion yeah, it's to easy to be done. Okay. All right, item C is a motion to approve Harpeth Middle School golf team use of the town park space on Harpeth View Trail. Uh, if you would remember, I think it was uh, spring of 2017, the Harpeth High School girls lacrosse team had approached us to use the open space across from uh, the, the green space. The former farmer's market. Yes, the former <laughs> farmer's marketplace uh, on Harpeth View Trail, and uh, we allowed them to do that. The Middle school golf team has approached us now to use that same space. We would like to afford them the same privilege. Uh, have worked with Martha Brook, and we have an agreement that uh, we would have the Board of Education, the leadership at the middle school, as well as the town, sign to make sure that we're all on the same page as far as liabilities and, and responsibilities and that kind of thing. So we're just requesting, uh, they're requesting to use that space, so we brought it before the board. Narrow space for some middle school drive driving range. I think it's great. I just the liability board. I think it's a putting range. Oh, just putting. Yeah, and they they do. What are they going to just their putt on a chipping maybe? They're going to practice their short game. Short game. Okay. Yeah, okay. Going yeah. to the tree. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah just, great putting. I was just worried about the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to drink it. <laughs> okay. It's a perfect spot for it. As long as they pick up those golf balls, I'm just imagining. Bubba Parker hitting one on the lawnmower. And it, right, that's a very good one. <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah. The lawnmower will win, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, windshield. Windows going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, do we have a motion to approve the Harvard Middle School golf team to use of the town's park space on Harvard View Trail? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We have four items to surplus a Lenovo ThinkPad M72E. A 12 by 12 canopy tent, a 10 by 10 canopy tent, and a combination keypad at the activity center. I do have a motion to surplus these four items. Motion to get rid of it. All in favor? Aye. Uh, passes. Second and on. Any other items that anyone would like to discuss this uh, coming Saturday is movies in the park. Uh, two more farmers markets, correct? This Saturday, next Saturday. Next Saturday. And uh, homecoming parade September 27th and October 5th is Art in the Park. Mm -hmm. All right, so motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.